Yes, good morning, dear viewers of Gaza Media. For the past week, uh, we have been bringing you footages of the health campaign that has been taking place in the BLM. That was in Fonjumeto and in Fontem. And this morning, Karin uh, is in Chang, follow up the hair, follow up the same hair campaign. Uh, Karin, good morning. And how are you doing this morning? Okay. Yes, Karin, uh, proud to went to Fontem, you went to Boya, uh, the Kudu branch in Boya, and was covering uh, the activity of the meeting. And one of the objectives was raising funds to support the road, the bank road project. So now you went to Fontaine, I know you passed through the different road. What was your experience when you saw the road going to the village? Okay, so thank you very much for that question. Um, uh, first, uh, the photos, before, when I got to the park, the, Chang, the Diamond Park in Chang, The first thing I ask the bike riders, because it's only bike that, that can plow that road, so, I mean the road, the road that we took to go down to Fontaine, Mary Harris. I asked them a question, I asked them, I said, um, how many hours does it take from, from Chang to Fontaine? And they said an hour, 30 minutes. With that kind of uh, information, I knew the road is a smooth ride. But unfortunately, going down to Fontaine was not easy. And the, the road is it's really, really bad and a lot of stones. There are some areas where there are some areas of the road that has been blocked and the bikes have to have to look for one angle so they could pass on because the roads the roads are really bad. And from the past productions I've been sending out, you could hear from one of our patients saying to leave Chang, I was to leave Mary Hill, go down, go to Chang, it's a very difficult task. Some people die at the road because the roads are really bad. And this has increased uh, the transport fare. Right now, they pay in between 10 to 15,000 per person to leave for them to get to, get to Chang. And during the rainy season, it's 20,000 for a person. This depends on the information I got from um, Mr. Njinku Eric, that is the manager of the Mary Hill Hospital for Fontem. Yes, uh, Karen, uh, uh, Karen, I'm not quite sure. I know you, you, you use the different road. Uh, the road that is under construction is a different road, but uh, regardless of whichever road you took, the road is similar in nature, poor state of road. Karen, you even went to the bridge that link the hospital to Menji, which is the headquarter, and you saw some local, they were very discontent, they were not very happy with the state of the road. What was the feeling like? That was on the second day of the campaign that, that went down in Fontem. After a uh, consultation of some patients and the, on their way to, the, to their houses, you could hear the murmuring along the bridge that links the, the, the that, is, uh, that connects the Rikona to the hospital. You could hear the murmuring along the bridge saying that this bridge is not supposed to be like this, coupled with the fact that it's beside the hospital and patients, those who go to the hospital are mostly patients and the employee that was very dangerous for them. Uh, a patient even quoted that um, along his way to the hospital, uh, uh, an, an aged uh, mother almost fell into the river because of the poor nature of the road. But after that production went out, the next day we see uh, some kind of adjustments on the bridge. So right now, some planks have been added to fill up the holes that we, we left open. Okay, okay, yes. Okay, Karen, let me throw this question to you. So now, okay, now that you have witnessed it for yourself, I believe when you were in Boya, that Sunday proud to went to the village, you were just reporting, you didn't really know what was happening. What message do you have for, say, if you go back to Boya, tomorrow or after tomorrow I see somebody who is from the bank, member of the Kudu Boya, who have not been to the village. What message will you be passing on to that kind of person that this is what I saw? Thank you very much, sir, for that uh, question. So, 
I would like to encourage all the sons and daughters of the BLM Lebang in particular to put their hands on deck so this road can be fixed and not just the road but the bridge as well because the reporters or the persons I plow the road with are complaining of waist pain and back pain and they, they throw slangs like if this is how, let me quote them in Pigeon, if na so from them what they then I'm not sure how it will come back. Exactly their words and I think the message I'm passing on to Lebang sons and daughters for them to I'm encouraging them to keep putting their hands deep into their pockets so they could ensure that this road is um, this road sees the light of the day and so um, those of us, those of our brothers and sisters who are down there could have a good road and um, it could easily be accessible for them to leave their homes to their farms or from the farms to the markets or to the hospitals, um, wherever, um, however the case may be. Okay. Yes, Karin, uh, yeah. how is the health campaign now going on this morning in Chang? Okay, coming down to the health campaign in Chang, the population is not really enormous. This is not what we had yesterday. And the screening has already started, coupled with um, other works going on in other units of the hospital. All the doctors, volunteers, nurses are already stationed in their respective places to receive patients. And the patients on their own part are sitting patiently and waiting for their names to be called. Oh. Okay, Karen, I, I will let you go, please. Uh, we want to thank you again so much for the wonderful pieces, the wonderful report that you are bringing out. The images were fantastic uh, to you and Fred. Again, uh, be careful out there. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Okay, yeah, bye bye for now. Yes, dear viewers, uh, I just got this announcement from the project coordinator uh, committee. Uh, Dr. Joe Fotuchang, uh, who is inviting all the bank and friends of the bank for the next fundraising Zoom meeting that is scheduled to take place on Sunday, March 17 at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and 7 p.m. at Z local time. Uh, the project coordinator said he will be updating uh, members of the community about the state of the road, what has happened so far, but he's urging everyone to join them on the Zoom meeting come Sunday, March 17. Again, this is Gaza Media. I'm Enes Kumba. Bye-bye for now.